Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something different with these wall shelves. These shelves was here from the previous owner. And when I moved in, I had spray painted them um, this gray color. They was like a burgundy color. But anyway, I want to do something different. Um, show you seen these shelves before if you watch any of my home tour videos. And I found this picture on Pinterest that actually made me want to do something different to this wall. So to start off, I got these brackets from Lowe's. They are nine by seven and I got four of them. They were $16 a piece. Then I also grabbed two pieces of wood. Both pieces of wood was $8. And um, one, they both were 48 inches long. I got one cut down to 24 inches and I just got that cut at Lowe's. So I went ahead and stained all of my brackets or corbels, whatever you want to call them. I stained them and I stained my wood. And I also stained the little pieces that come with the brackets to cover the nail holes. I stained those too. So once I stain everything, I do remove that sticker because I didn't know it was there at first. Once I stained everything, I went ahead and just dry brushed my corbels with some Waverly chalk paint in white. And I did this to all of them. I'm going to make sure I put the picture down below of um, my idea for these shelves that I got off of Pinterest. I also painted the little um little nail covers. We're gonna call them nail covers because I don't know what they're called. I also um just dry brushed them. I just put a little bit of paint on them. Once I did that, I went ahead and distressed all my corbels just to make it look like it blended in, like it came like this. I didn't want to do like the paint was just sitting on top of them, and I made sure I wiped all of them down after I got done. Once I did that, I went ahead and laid my wood down where I wanted it to be placed. I only did like two inches, two and a half inches away from the end of the board. Um, once I did that, I actually took a pencil and drew the line. So that way I knew where to replace my brackets once I put my glue on them. And I used wood glue for this. I got this wood glue from Home Depot. I thought this was a better idea than putting the brackets on the wall and then sitting the board on there because I know me, I would have gotten it crooked, gotten them crooked. So I thought this was better to go ahead and glue the corbels down to the wood, then just place all of it together onto the wall. If you see what I'm saying. So I went ahead and did that. Once I got it where I want to, I went ahead and hung these up on the wall.
and I really love the way these turned out. I actually like them better than the ones I had up there before, but once I seen that picture on Pinterest, I had to try and recreate these myself, and I did a good job. Then right here, I'm gonna just show a picture of how I have these decorated right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep all this stuff up there, but that's another video. So if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, I would love you to stick around, hit that subscribe button. Also, notification bell, notification bell, so you won't miss out any future videos. Bye-bye.